There's a new AI image generator that can easily create t-shirt designs with perfect text. It can also make great logos, stickers, posters, any type of vector art style graphics and illustrations. It can do other stuff too, but that's where it really shines. Even for more challenging designs like the word dog in the shape of a dog. The best part is it's 100% free right now and incredibly easy to use. The platform is called Ideogram. Once you're in, if you look through the different feeds, you'll see a bunch of generations. It does well at other styles too, but there's already other softwares that can do that. So there's a big focus on text because that's what sets this apart. It does great even with really long sentences. To generate, type what you want in this box up top. I'll start with something basic. Cute fox drinking a cup of coffee with typography that says, life is brutal. There's styles you can choose from down here. Click see all to view more. We'll test those out later. And there's a few aspect ratios to choose from as well. I'll just be sticking with square for all of these. Then generate. Easy as that. It generates pretty quick and comes back with four options. These are solid. The text isn't always perfect on the first try. If there's one that's close, but not all the way there like this one, you can select it, then click remix and generate four more that are similar. You can keep going and remix as many times as you want until you have something you like. You might not be able to get it exactly how you want. You can bring it into another editor for touch-ups as well. I'll go over how to do all that a little later. Let's try out some of the styles. I'll use the same prompt, then click poster and generate. You don't have to wait for these to finish to start another one. So I'll select another style and click generate again. And one more. So I've got three working now. To see them, click on your profile in the top right corner. Now you'll have all your previous generations and the active ones. When you click on one, it will show all four options. You can go back and remix your old generations too. Here's examples from each different style. And you don't have to limit it to one style. You can mix and match as many as you'd like. Those were all on the first try with no remixing, so you can see how easy it is to get good stuff, but you can customize this a lot more with better prompting. The biggest impact in your prompt is style, and you don't have to use their default styles. This will all vary widely depending on what type of design you're going for, but here's just a bunch of examples. You'll also probably want to guide the colors so you can use color palettes or you can choose specific colors. That is by no means an exhaustive list. Here's more ideas and keywords all listed out. A great way to get more ideas is right on the main page. You can look under the different tabs to see what other people are creating. If you click on one, you'll see the exact prompt they used. If you see something you like, you can click remix and customize it for your needs. You could remove the original image or leave it if you want, then change the subject and generate. As you scroll through the feed, you can click like on any generation and under your profile, you have a liked tab. It will save those too. If you need more ideas, ChatGPT can always help. What are some coffee based puns? about shirt ideas in the coffee niche. Or you could give it specific info about your company or niche and ask for objects and ideas that would be good to include in t-shirt designs. ChatGPT is really good at this type of thing, so just go back and forth and you'll have endless inspiration. I've also been experimenting with logos. I've done a ton of logo design in Midjourney, so I've been testing out a lot of the same keywords. Maybe those shirts I made were for a coffee brand that has a fox mascot. ChatGPT had some solid name ideas. I'll go with Foxy Beans Coffee Co. Keeping it simple, logo design for a coffee company called Foxy Beans. That's actually a really solid first try. I think this one has coffee beans for eyes. Then this tail looks like a cup with steam. This one just has a really nice flow to it. But just like before, you can get much more specific. A lot of the same styles from the t-shirts work here too. And just adding the word logo is enough for it to adapt. But there are some keywords that tend to work really well for logos specific. Also try using some famous logo designers' names. And of course you can add specific colors and color palettes as well. All the same stuff applies to making posters, banners, book covers, app icons, coffee mugs, whatever you need. Once you have your design, it's not very high resolution and may have some other issues. So there's a few tools you can use to fix this. To remove the background with clipdrop.co, you get 100 background removals per day with their free plan. That should be enough for most people. And right within clipdrop, you can upscale by 2X. You don't usually need to upscale at all if you're converting it to a vector file. But if you need to, there's another upscaler I prefer where you can upscale scale 4x or more completely free. It's replicate.com. 
go to super resolution. Then there's a bunch of open source free upscalers to choose from. That's probably the best way to go for most people. But if you want something you can download to your computer, upscale.org spelled with a Y is an amazing free and open source option where you can even bulk upscale. Now to turn it into a vector file, you can go to vectorizer.ai, drag in your file. Now it's a super crisp and scalable vector file. You can bring that into Illustrator or any other vector editor, then edit and customize however you'd like. The last thing I want to mention is copyright, since I'm sure there will be questions. There's a paragraph in the terms of service everyone was concerned about, but they made a post on X and in Discord to clarify. They said they don't own any of the prompt or output content that's generated on their platform, and they don't restrict your ability to use that content. But I have been having a lot of fun with Ideogram, so I hope this helps you create something awesome.